Alright, welcome back to another League Race this time. We're back with TTML for round number 8 of F3 here at France. Now, it's a sprint race and a... So it's a sprint setup, again, essentially. So one shot qualifying. Um, one shot qualifying, 25% race. And then that is going to be set the grid for the 50% race. So that's how we are working with. There's a setup. I uh, will be using it again. Um... But, anywho, uh, one shot was fine. It was, I got, got fifth place, so that was nice. Um, good, a good, really good place to uh, do this one. And I feel pretty good around this track, too. So, I feel pretty, pretty good, all things considered. So, uh, sorry, I'm a little, a little uh, scattered here. So, <laughs> anywho, here we go then. For this is the sprint, sprint rate, at least five red lights. And away we go. It's a decent start. Um... Initially, the door opens up on the inside here. Uh, turn one is a mess. Just I had to get out of that because that was going to end in disaster. And then Legende kind of comes across into Husby a little bit. So we're going to give that place. We're in P4. You know, one mandatory stop, you know, 13 laps. I know safety cars are on, but this is a good place to be. This is a really strong place to be. And I feel confident that we can really turn this into something good because I've got a I feel felt good with the setup. So in practice, like I was, you know, felt competitive enough. The comparison to Sway, who's in second here. So yeah, I think we're in a really, really good place for a good result here today. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna go past the chicane here. I go list that one a little bit, but uh, just you know, stick with it. Uh, again, look back. Okay, look safe. Uh, you see Dan is behind as well. He's a reserve, and then going through scene corner. As we head then into turn 11. Again, trying to keep a high gear through here. Not go, Don't go full throttle. I didn't go full throttle. However, a car still gets away from me. And, uh, yeah. We've, uh, we've spun. I I didn't have any spin there in, in practice, as far as I remember. Uh, certainly not like that. I wasn't on full throttle. So I'm very confused as to how that happened um, in this moment anyway. So... Okay, because the setup was fine. Uh, anyway, we're going to box, get rid of these sauce, go medias to the end. Maybe we can make a few other cuts on people, but anywho. Um, yeah, that was a surprise, honestly, because I really felt the car was in control in practice, you know, generally speaking. So, yeah, that was a surprise for me, for sure. Um, obviously, look, uh, yeah, it's it's a tough one. Uh, Tapula Boy is coming into the pit as well here, and I think Juan Rojo may have... Uh, oh no, he didn't have an accident, but he will <laughs> He will later. Anywho, uh, we're going to emerge here in P17, so there is work. There is work to be done. <laughs> they say across two races, so... Anyways, let's try and get something the best out we can out of this. Uh, Tapula Boy is on soft, so I mean, he's just going to go through. Not much I can really do. Uh, I decided he kind of was slow on the apex there on the exit, so... Uh, a little, he was a little slow to uh, defend that. Uh, here comes Merck as well then. Uh, I'm not going to fight that. So off he goes on his softs. Uh, carrying a lot of speed. And he gets by uh, Hippula Boy as well. So anyways, uh, it's look. The people we get by here, it's going to be tough to stay by some of them. Especially if they start on mediums as well. Uh, we're going to try and come back to Hippula Boy though. Uh, that was very close. I nearly hit him. Uh, so we get take that place back, but I don't think it's going to be for very long. And uh, the people we get undercuts on basically will have better tires towards the end of the race. So kind of you know it, it's temporary, it's only temporary gain. And a hippie boy is he going to go down the inside? He thought about it, and I kind of stuck stuck to the middle of the track there. So kind of to make a choice at that certain point there. Uh, lap eight, heading on to lap nine. I think Stevie G's may have damage, so we're going to get by him. So, yeah, we're kind of moving up to the field. Not really. We're still mostly at the back with people to come through. Uh, but at least it's nearly over. And at this kind of this stage, I'm thinking, you know, there's at least a 50% race to make some, you know, to make some of this back. As disappointing as this was. Uh, this is Appledorn and Ansoft. So again, can't really fight that. So, yeah, that's kind of where my... I was disappointed and confused... Uh, but we're not done yet because, anyways, uh, Yaram then is about to come get us. 
on lap 11. And uh, I don't know what happened here either. Um, was it the curb? I don't know. But yeah, that was uh, uh, just 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 to add insult to injury really at the end of the day so um doesn't change a whole lot really but not ideal and just you know just a kick in the arse that also was kicking the arse uh, a, a double warning for uh, that corner nothing came up on my screen nothing so um not, again not that it matters we're going to set fastest lap here but yeah kind of 13 laps i'm happy to see the back of uh but very very confusing uh sprint race to say the least uh, so he finished fifth i could have easily been top 10 in that very i think that's pretty that's pretty clear to me that could have easily been a top 10 there so anyways we're at 18th and last and with a lot of work to do in the in the race here so yeah kind of Confidence knocked a bit just because I, you know, you go off twice in one race uh, in very, to me, confusing circumstances. I don't know how, and if, uh, circumstances that didn't really happen in practice either. You know, in practice where you're pushing more to find the limit, so it was a very strange one. So uh, I had I changed the pressures a little bit. Um, I just went a bit more conservative with this the set this time, and again I took down the diff a bit. So uh, of course we had to load our setups again. You see as well, but. See, again, let's like, take down the diff. And, yeah, we'll go mediums to hard, or, you know, at least mediums, take them long if we can maybe extend to softs. We'll see how we get on with that. Anyway, so, look, P18, nothing to really lose. So, let's go for it. Oh, here we go. Some people on hard, so we'll need to get by them, because to be stuck, to be stuck behind people on hard is not going to be ideal to anyone's race. So, we make up a few positions there off the bat. And uh, there's a few cars off in front, so I was going to make a decent gain there, but Juan Rojo then takes that position back that we took off of him because he is on, uh, I think, uh, is he on? Yeah, he's on hard, I'm blind. So just tippy toeing our way through, though. Uh, Langfeld, a bit, of a, a bit of a snap of oversteer there for him. And then Juan Rojo kind of comes across into him. Get a good run. I see you have ERS on there on the exit of that, uh, that corner. Get a good run, but Langfeld's also using his ERS. He might just have a little bit lower wings. But and just having a look to see what's out there, but nothing really doing heading into this chicane. And uh, a little bit of contact there, but that's fine. Uh, you got Hippula Boy close to me as well, so I can't really go back into... I can't get... I try to go back into Langfeld slipstream as quickly as I could because, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to swipe up a car to get back in the slipstream, so... Uh, lap three, uh, that was I'm a D, and then Sway got damage off of the back of his spin, I believe. So that was unfortunate. Uh, so he's got wing damage now. So yeah, it, we're uphill battle for both of us now, to be fair. But uh, again, DRS has enabled this lap. And again, I've got overtake enabled coming through the corner there. A little bit of a, a back end snap there. So I have to be careful of that. But anyways, nothing doing on Langfell here. But we will get by Sway, who, uh, yeah, just lets the pack go as safely as possible. So, yeah, I'm kind of just stuck in a bit of a train at the moment. I know my pace is good. So I feel like I could have made some places up here in the race. So that's, you know, I was feeling like, you know, we could definitely still do something here. And look, we're it's only lap four and we're up to 12th place. You know what I mean? So, you know, things are looking decent. And that's 10th, 11th place now after an accident there for uh, one of the, one of the, I think it was uh, Juan Rojo. So we're up into 11th place. The safety car is deployed. I decided, you know what? We're going to extend. I think we're going to stay out. And, you know, maybe we could do softs if we stay out long enough and maybe we could have a real factor at the end of this race. So we're going to pass some people here to who boxed. The actual right thing to do at this point with how the race unfolded was to pit for hards and go to the end. That was the thing to do. But, of course, you know, lap four is a safety car, do you know what I mean? So we, we couldn't have predicted that would be the only safety car of this race. Anyway, safety car restart then happened. Nothing really to make mention of. But lap nine... A few people behind who pitched it beforehand are coming to the fore now. So I want to overtake Langfell, who's not within DRS of Yarm. So I use overtake coming out of the corner. I think... Uh, yeah, well... I, hit, I think I hit the limiter, which was the issue. 
I've I've used overtake coming out of that corner before, and it's been I, you saw one snap of oversteer, but I've used it before, and it was fine. But I, uh, yeah, that is my first league racing retirement properly since F1 2018. So that was a bit of a shock to the system, but just a shambles of a of a of a race. You know, just sprint race a disaster. The race was well now a disaster with the accident. So. Uh, yeah, difficult one to take, especially because I was looking forward to France, and I actually quite enjoy driving this track, but twice now it's bitten me in FTRL and in TTML, and yeah, it has, yeah, it's just been one of those tracks this season, but really disappointing, uh, yeah, I feel like the limiter, yeah, because I feel like I hit the limiter and that kind of screwed me a little bit, but obviously, yeah, just don't use overtaking me out of that corner, um, ever again. <laughs> And we have FTRL for this track in a few weeks, so maybe next week, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to use the same setup again because, again, as, as you know, it was a different setup to one I used in FTRL the first time. And it felt comfortable in TTML in practice, and I'm going to use it again for FTRL because I trust it. And I feel like I'm not going to fall victim again to those incidents because they were, I feel like they were very strange incidents uh the one in the race less so because you could put it down to more so using overtake coming out of here uh, my line was probably too tight you see look uh yarm using overtake coming out of that section and he was just fine so yeah anyways that's going to do it for round number eight of ttml of france very disappointing but uh, hopefully we'll bounce back with a good race in mexico next week so thanks for watching and yeah until next time